Morning everyone. I'm um, just about to share um, a little project I've done over the last uh, two weekends. Uh, basically I've been uh, using up a lot of scraps and leftover stuff from previous projects. I've just had them lying about for weeks. So I thought I'll make some good use of them. And after watching um, Artie Mays' Junk in the Trunk, she's really inspired me to start using up pieces of junk and that. So I'm going to sort of get stuck in this afternoon and start on a few little pieces. Um, what I've uh, made today is um, two altered file folders. Uh, they're both pretty similar. Uh, called one Evangeline, and I think the other lady looks like an Emily, so we'll call her Emily. Um, and what I've done is, I've just obviously altered the file folder and each one comes with um, a matching, I'll do Emily first, comes with um, a matching Traveller's Notebook size journal. Just trying to get myself in frame once again. Um, I've collaged the front up with some... Oh, before I start I'd just like to give a, um, a quick shout out to two ladies who have really inspired me on these. Um, I'm sure you all know Laurie Fusco and Rob, Robin Dudley Howes, or Hawes, sorry, Robin. Um, I just love their work and, and I see how they do up the file folders. So, and I've had file folders knocking about for a bit, so I thought I'd get some use of So thanks ladies for all the inspiration that you do and all the tutorials you do. Um, right, this one has got a little glassine bag behind and it's got a little tag in. I've used a lot of um, pieces that I had left over from um, the Arte Maze kit. My Sweet Rose, um, which I just finished last week, so I thought I'll put them to good use as well. Um, I always tend to overprint things out, so I end up with a pile of stuff at the end of a project. So I thought, get to use and use them up. Um, I've got some lace at the bottom, a couple of layers of lace. Um, some of it is vintage and some of it is new. Some cheesecloths and some little rosettes and a little pink paper flower that somebody gifted to me. Sorry, I'm not sure if it's Denise or Andrea, that this, this, or Janet even, but thank you. Anyway, whoever sent it me, I've put some good use to it. I've got a little bit of um, rouge ribbon down here and a little bow at the, the top. Uh, the back has just been scripted and I've just done a little bit of uh, staining on it. Um, each file folder comes obviously with its matching traveller's notebook. But I've also done a set of um, envelopes to go with each one. Uh, there's two envelopes filled with um, ephemera and journaling cards. I'll show you them after I've gone through the journal. Um, once again, the cover matches near enough the lady on the front. Uh, I've just collaged that up once again with um, some music paper, a little bit of floral paper and some French book page. Um, just some script stamping and just distress around the edges. Um, there's not a lot of um, journal cards and ephemera in the actual journal itself. That's what these are for. They're filled with um, your own journal and cards and ephemera. Because if I fill them up, I'd have trouble getting them into the file folder. So I've left them blank for whoever wants to fill them in themselves. Um, this is the paper from my Sweet Rose kit, which was beautiful. Still in love with this kit. Um, just done a little bit of stamping, stenciling on the way throughout. I think this is from Dreams Etc. I've done a little lace pocket with um, a journaling card and a guest check that I've trimmed with some crochet lace. Some more stenciling. Um, I've put two tags throughout each one, which is the, which are handmade. Um, and it's just a, a lovely vintage lady with, uh, put on some, um, some calico, uh, some diamante and this always makes, goes, when I do, as soon as I sit down to do a video, my mind goes blank at this. I want to say cheesecloth, but it's not. So you'll all know what I mean. It's weird that as soon as you do a video, your mind just goes blank. A little bit of um French book page. Stenciling. And another little um tag which I've just collaged up with. Laces, rosettes, trim.
Hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, my weekend plans have gone a bit awry. I was going to go out gardening, but after the good weather we've had the last week and a half, Storm Freya has arrived in the UK and it's now really, really breezy and windy out there. So I think gardening's hit on the head today. Um, just a little lace pocket on the um, band on the back with some more journal and card and some ledger paper. Like I said, they are pretty bland, but um, I have to leave them like that so you can get back into the folder. Um, and like I said, each folder will come with um, two envelopes which I've decorated. Um, next one, Evangeline. I love this image. I've seen loads of ladies use this um, and I've always kept saying, oh, I'll make something with her, but I never get round to it. But finally I have. And um, once again, an altered file folder. Um, which has just been collaged up with some vintage lace. Um, I think that little bit was off a doily. Some more trim. Still not come to me, but we'll call it cheesecloth for now. Um, and a little bit of lace trim at the side. And another paper bag with um, a journaling card, which I just topped off with a bit of lace on. Um, you can put some journaling cards and some secret bits behind. Um, these pockets. Uh, once again, same uh, staining and script stamping. And this comes again with a typical traveller's notebook size. I think it's eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, I think, I haven't counted the pages, but there's usually maybe 38 to 40 front to back. Um, I've collaged Evangeline isn't she just beautiful, that lady? Um, she seems like she's doing me, oh no, I've got a headache, a hassle a headache look on her face, but she still looks very beautiful. Um, little doily, some French book page, some music page, um, some little rose trim and a little bit of vintage lace at the bottom. Um, like I said, both of these are very similar. Um, got a little tuck spot here and one of the Sue Olson's dress form and um, you can tuck little bits and everything in there the same um, My Sweet Rose um, digital kit paper I'll link put a link to that um, in the description box below um, little doily some more stenciling throughout uh, another little vintage lady I've just made up into a tag um, some rose trim, a little trim and some, yeah, round the side. <laughs> Done a lot of stenciling in this one. Um, some more of that paper from Greens etc. Some coffee stain paper. And another um, little lace pocket with a few journaling cards. And I've also put some of these in, um, just little bits for writing. Um, can never have too much writing paper is my motto. Centre of the journal. I said they are mainly for writing these, but I thought it'd be fun to just put your own ephemera in where you want to as you go along. As and like you say, you don't have to keep your journal that. You could keep little journaling cards in your folder and just use your journal and bulk it out however you want to use it. Um, another little... Um, tag which has been a vintage lady on just collaged up with some rosette trim and yeah that cheesecloth we're calling it aren't we and another little um, belly band at the back with a couple of journaling cards in and um, that's like I said the second one but I'll just quickly go through the um, envelopes that go with them uh, this is set one. I will be listing these in my Etsy um, straight after the video. Um, but if you always want to PM me separate to bypass Etsy, that's entirely up to you. Um, first envelope is just been a little bit of stamping on it, a little bit of lace trim with um, some roses on it. Oh, I think I've lost myself again, have I? I always um, record using my watch and it goes blank. I always think I've stopped recording, but I don't seem to have. So 
excuse me please and each one these envelopes comes with some ephemera um i've put some little writing pieces in they're just all right for doodling on um some ephemera so they're all sort of pretty much rose themed i've kept them tried to keep them uh sort of pretty and feminine looking a uh, little ruffle with diamante on the back and it also comes with a smaller one same again a uh, little bit of diamante ruffle a uh, little bit of rosette trim and some stamping uh, just been watching Annalise and Charlotte Peterson has really inspired me to make these envelopes just love watching these ladies work on their stuff um, I've been sort of doing some few smaller things of late and I just find sometimes it's nice to just get back to some smaller stuff, isn't it? Um, the second envelope set is pretty much the same. It's a little pink ribbon. Um, a smaller one again, a little pink uh, ruffle with diamante. A little Paris stamp. And just some more writing pieces, some journaling cards. Like I said, there's plenty of room for journaling these, and you can always add your own bits and bobs to them. After I've done this video today, I've got a few Easter projects for some people, some friends that I'd like to get started on. Um, and seeing as Easter's around the corner, I need to get onto that sort of ASAP. Um, same again, little lace trim with a rosette um, of roses, little vintage stamping, little bit of um, fabric and a ribbon at the back, and filled again with some more writing paper, some journaling cards. So a lot of these cards was what I had left over from the Art Maze kit, so I thought I'd put them to use. Um, some more little writing paper. But like I said, these envelopes do hold a lot of um, journaling cards. You could put bits of letters in, anything really. And that's the two of them. So like I said, um, I won't wrap them all up, but that's one set. Um, I'll describe them as set one, Emily and set to Evangeline um, when I list them on my Etsy. Um, just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers that I've, I've got lately. I um, can't believe I've gone over 900 now. I never ever thought I'd get anywhere near that. So thank you for bearing with me waffling through and struggling most of the time. I'm really not comfortable doing videos, but you've just got to get in, get stuck in and do it sometimes, haven't you? Um, once again, thanks everybody. I hope you have a lovely day and enjoy whatever you're doing. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.